What's up everyone, Akukami here and welcome to Tech Tuesday, the show where I talk about PC related items that I've actually bought and used. Now today we'll be taking a look at a uh, keyboard from Cooler Master. This is the Cooler Master Storm Quickfire TK. And as you can see right here, I'm taking all of this information from the Cooler Master website. So I'll leave a link in the description or somewhere in the video so that you can go check this out for yourself. This is a mechanical keyboard that comes in three different switches, reds, blues, and browns, and they come in their respective backlighting. And I don't think you can change this. Uh, reds go, come with reds, blues with blues. And somebody at Cooler Master thought that brown LEDs would look pretty crappy, and they decided to put whites. And you can check the specs here for yourself and read up on everything here. Um, one of the things that you're going to notice right away is that this keyboard is very small. And the reason for that is it's actually missing the separate arrow keys and your keys like your insert, delete, home, and and other keys that normally appear right after the main keyboard. And what Cooler Master has done is that they've actually integrated these keys into the number pad. And the way this works is you press num lock in order to switch between your number pad and your other keys like your arrow keys. And um, I personally couldn't get used to this and after a month I was basically fed up with it and uh, I, I had actually had to switch to a different mechanical keyboard but if you can get over this little feature and get used to having to press the num lock in order to use the arrow keys or whatnot or if you don't need this feature at all and you're just fine with the integrated number pad I really recommend getting this because it is a great keyboard for uh, what you're getting here now other features of the keyboard are that uh, it does come with a detachable braided USB cable and what's, what this means is if you're trying to clean your keyboard uh, which I do personally on a monthly basis instead of having to reach behind your case and having to unplug your keyboard you can actually just flip your keyboard over and pull the plug from behind and that makes it really easy for cleaning purposes and speaking of cleaning purposes Cooler Master does provide you with some kind of tool in order to remove the keys individually. Now, you can obviously read through this on your own, and it does come with uh, three modes, five brightness levels. Not really uh, sure what the, the brightness, brightness levels are for, nor have I actually had to switch between modes. I mean, that's probably for gaming, but I haven't really taken a look at that. And speaking of... Uh, this being a great value how much does this cost well first off this is what the uh, if you actually bought this this is what the the packaging would look like this is the box that it comes in and this is the keyboard itself with the cable right here and they don't show the tool but they uh, cooler master does include it in here now uh, this mechanical keyboards in general don't come um, cheap and I've never seen one for less than uh, fifty dollars, especially, uh, especially backlit ones. I mean, uh, you can get lucky and find the deal where they can, th where actually these go down as low as sixty-five dollars. And uh, last week, I actually knew I had this keyboard for sixty-five dollars, and I was kicking myself because I actually paid eighty-four for this particular keyboard, and uh, it took. Uh, uh, I actually got it from Amazon where it was on sale at that time. Now this keyboard, um, it's an absolutely great buy and if you're looking for a mechanical keyboard that's backlit, I suggest getting this one. And if you can get over the, the integrated feature and having to constantly press the num lock key in order to uh, switch between your arrow keys and your um, in your number pad, um, that's <laughs> that's great for you. I mean. This is, like I said, a fabulous buy, and uh, the keyboard itself is pretty sturdy, so uh, you're getting a really nice keyboard for the value. And this is what actually the white, uh, the brown switches would look like with the white backlighting. This is the blue ones, and this is actually the ones that I bought, and uh, and this is the red uh, red switches with the red backlighting. And uh, in terms of pre personal preference, I actually like the blues, the blue switches. Uh, I like the feel that I get when I press the keys, and though they're rather noisy, um, I just, uh, like I said, it's just personal preference, and uh, in terms of brown keys, they're a little bit softer than blues, and 
I just couldn't handle that and uh, I really wanted to hear the click and feel the click beneath my fingers so that's why I chose the blues and I couldn't tell you about reds because I haven't I uh, personally haven't had any experience with them alright guys just to wrap things up this is the cooler master storm quickfire TK it is a mechanical keyboard that comes in three different switches browns blues and reds and uh, this is uh, a really really nice keyboard for the buy so if you're looking for a mechanical mechanical keyboard that's backlit I absolutely recommend this one alright guys thanks very much for watching this is Tech Tuesday I am Akukami signing off <laughs>